e do mês de vinho. workshop you know there there are so there are so many ways that you can uh, you can practice on the keyboard on the piano it's up to you the uh, the way you want to to do it and um, believe it or, believe it or not you can uh, just pick up just a chord like uh, the like E dominant seventh right here and then use and use it to practice many musical concepts. So it, it is up to you. Now, I can just go ahead and find out where this E dominant seventh chord resolves on what note because after all, it is a dominant seventh chord. And as you, as you and I know, a dominant seventh chord wants to resolve. Okay, so wants to resolve on a more stable chord. So, and most of the time, the dominant seventh chord is going to resolve. Is going to resolve on on the one major one or minor one as a deceptive cadence so oh, okay then so if I use by the way I am this this video this video is for the students of the piano or the keyboard not the grooves, not the grooves of the instrument. Okay, so this is a E dominant seven. So I want to resolve it. Okay, I'm. You know what? I'm going to resolve it. I'm going to resolve it on the 
on the on minor one because it's easy for me right here because when I play the line see this is a seven as the line is you see my resolution on the on the on the minor minor one okay now the quest the question that I'm that I'm asking myself this minor one which is D minor seventh is it a it do, can I use it as a Dorian as part of a Dorian scale or as or as part of an Aeolian mode so in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna use it as D Aeolian mode and the D Aeolian mode is built on the F Aeolian mode which is F major scale so right there you have so many chords that you can use okay and so many scales and modes that you can use to play your music so I have my my E dominant 7 started with one chord one chord and from that one chord I discovered many things I can I can do so now I know the D Aeolian mode be, belongs to the F major scale which is an F Aeolian mode all right here you go <laughs> Aeolian mode. That's the F Aeolian mode. Okay, D Dorian mode. No, no, not D Dorian mode because D Dorian mode belongs to the C Aeolian mode. D Aeolian mode. Okay belongs to the F Aeolian mode. So let me play the D Aeolian scale. Okay? Seven, G minor seven. 
All right. Seven flat five. It's this one right here. Okay. This, this is flat seven. That's flat seven right here. That's a D. Okay. The flat seven, flat seven of. So this is D. So now you have E, E to G, that's one minor third, G to B flat, that's another minor third, one, two, okay, one, two, over here I can see it, I can see it with my own two eyes, that from E, no, sorry, from E to G, that's one minor third from from G to B flat. That's another minor third, and then from 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 B flat to to D. That's a major third. So this is this is this is this is E minor seven flat five. Okay. So sorry. Now this is if I lower flat seven D half step, then now I have three minor ter, three minor thirds inter, intervals stacked up on stacked up over each other. So that would be three minor thirds, okay? E diminished, full diminished seventh chord, as opposed to E minor seven flat five, flat five, which has two minor third and a major third. The, dim the full diminished has three minor th thirds altogether. 
Okay, I think uh, I hope I clear that up. Okay, now when you play that uh, that uh, C here. Okay, you play your E minor seven flat five, and of course you go back to your F major seven. What are the seventh? What are the seventh type chords that you can build on the D Aeolian mode? Let's try that. Okay, D Aeolian mode. This is the this is the scale. Okay, the first chord will be obvious. Obviously, the first chord is going to be D minor 7. The second chord is going to be... It's going to be uh, E minor 7 flat 5. Remember now, we are... We are building chords on the D Aeolian mode. Okay. D minor scale. Um, not, not, not D, um, not D harmonic scale or D melodic scale, natural minor. So the second chord is going to be E minor 7 flat 5, okay? And the third chord it's going to be flat 3, that would be F major 7th, okay, yes. And the, the, the fourth one is going to be, it's going to be, let's see, uh, okay, say D, E, F, G okay the fourth one is gonna be G minor seventh okay and the, the fifth is gonna be A minor seven okay you need the uh, you need to remember we are still in the D natural D minor scale, D Aeolian mode. So normally the the, the diatonic on the, the on the fifth de degree of the of the Aeolian mode, the chord the chord that is not normally built is a minor is a minor chord. Oh, minor seven, but usually most of the time we also play the dominant seventh chord. Now, it's possible to play to like move from one to the other, but diatonically it's supposed to be minor on the fifth degree. Of the of the Aeolian mode, but we, but practically, we play we also play a dominant seventh chord, okay, like this one. Is it a, yeah? We also can play the. See, you can switch back and forth, okay, depending on the makeup of of the music you are playing. Okay, now we're going to go to which one? With fifth. We're going to go to the sixth now. The sixth will be as you. The sixth will be. Uh, remember, we're in D now. We're in D minor, so that will be. Okay, going to be C now. 
So the C will be uh, the B. No, not the C. We're going to play B. The B is going to be that will be uh, uh, six degrees. So that would be uh, that would be B flat major seven. Okay, so it's going to be like that. Flat major seven. Okay, now we're gonna play a chord on the seventh degree of the D Aeolian mode, and that will be C. And guess what? It's something that we need to remember always when we are playing aeolian mode diatonically on the on diatonically in the aeolian mode the chord that is built that is supposed to be played on the seventh degree is a dominant seventh chord okay so that means it's gonna be it's gonna be in this case it's gonna be C dominant seven. All right. Sorry. And then back to the D minor seven. 